I love my Salt Manning Super Fund. I've had one for many years and I've enjoyed it immensely. However, whenever I do anything with my Salt Manning Super Fund, I stay close to my accountant, my financial advisor and my tax lawyer. And you should harvest this relationship with your accountant and advisor very carefully because they will help you. While self-managed super funds are very powerful, they're also at risk if you do something that's inappropriate. If you do do something that's inappropriate, get your accountant, advisor and tax lawyer as quickly as possible. Declare the default to the Australian Taxation Office most of the time, and I've seen very good results with this. They will be lenient with you because you've declared the fault and you've rectified. Now, let's look at some opportunities here of transferring business premises into your self and your super fund. So the assets that you own, that you transfer into your self and your super fund, is that allowed? Yes, it certainly is. There are a couple of exceptions about selling your own assets into your self and your super fund, and one of them is business real property. Well, what about if you've got a family home where well, you can't transfer residential property into your self and your super fund, but you can try and change the nature of that asset so it now fits within a business real property exemption. So one example is you bulldoze the residential property, you cement it, concrete it in, and you start leasing in leasing that property as commercial property parking. You can then transfer that in. Well, my business premises is worth $5 million. Well, you can't transfer, you basically a little bit under 1.4 million is the maximum you can do it at any one time. So talk to your accountant advisors about that because you can transfer your almost $1.4 million worth of property in now, that might be 22, 0.4% of the value of the property, and the rest you can transfer in over time. You can drip feed it in. Now, I've seen this strategy work extremely well over many years, but I did see one problem, and that was that a person got a little bit too clever and documented an option agreement between himself and the self managed super fund to allow or to force in the assets over a time period. These properties should go in capital gains tax and stamp duty or transfer free if you've got a number of years to plan these things. But in this instance, if you put a put call option agreement between yourself and yourself and your super fund, and what that is, is that I have a, a right to put the property, force the self managed super fund to buy another part of the property, another couple of percent, and the self managed super fund's got a right, an option to, to acquire from you as the as the owner some of the property that's a put call option you can have an option agreement put option whatever you want but you do not need and you should not document that proceed do that procedure at all because you don't need to you can just sell in or transfer in that percentage of the, of the property that you and your self-managed super fund decide to do from time to time. So be very careful of over documenting these these sorts of things when it's not necessary to do so. It does help with legal fees, but other than that, it does have no good for you at all. These transactions should be dealt with, particularly the small business capital gains tax rollover relief, four or five years before you even think of setting them up because you've got a, a $6 million rule, you've got net assets, you've got a $2 million a turnover rule, and these things can, ha can be manipulated and changed over time. But there's one thing that can't be changed, and that is your self-managed super fund deed should be always kept up to date, and the investment strategies that go with it. If you put a lot of the wealth of your self-managed super fund into just commercial property, and then one person wants to retire, it's extremely unlikely anyone, anyone outside the family will want to acquire a percentage interest in your commercial property. And therefore, it's very lumpy. And that may not be the best interest of yourself in a super fund. Talk to your advisor, talk to your accountant, talk to your tax lawyer. Above all, enjoy yourself in a super fund. They are just wonderful creatures, but protect and preserve them like one-day-old babies. Enjoy.